What's up YouTube? TechShot87. And today we are doing an initial review on the Glock 43, the long awaited, long anticipated by some of you. Uh, the Glock 43, the first single stack 9mm Glock. Um, since we've been shooting, I have heard nothing about people wanting a single stack Glock, single stack 9mm Glock. And here it is. Um, if you're new to our ch channel, welcome. We will normally do a an initial review. It's not an unboxing. Um, we'll do an initial review, initial impressions, uh, talk about price, weight, size, comparison, all that kind of stuff, and then do a shooting review. So that's what we're going to do with this one as well. Let's go ahead and open it up so you guys are not staring at just a box. And there it is. The Glock 43. Um, right out of the box, we'll go ahead and take it out. It comes with two six round magazines. This one has the extended base plate on it. And then you have the flush six round magazine as well. <clears throat> also comes with a little speed loader, a brush, lock, paperwork, all that kind of stuff. Besides looking at it when I went to go pick it up, that's this is uh, basically the first time holding a gun. Uh, talk about dimensions and stuff really quick. Don't want to bore you guys too much, but it has an overall length of 6.2 inches long, 4 and a quarter inches high, 1.2 inches wide. <clears throat> There's your sights too, by the way. An unloaded weight of 17.9 ounces. And uh, according to Glock, all their guns are about a five and a half pound trigger bolt. So let's get into um, probably one of the most anticipated guns that I've I've ever seen. So uh, the Glock 43 uh, just announced really like a month ago and officially released at the NRA show. I want to first say thank you to Carolina Sporting Arms up in North Carolina for being able to get this to us so quickly. And if you're in the low country and looking for transfers or even guns at a good price, Gunslingers Trading Post. This is the second transfer they've done for me, <clears throat> and um, they charge me 20 bucks right out of the gate. No questions about it. Um, since you have a, since I have a CWP, if you're military, um, law enforcement, 20 bucks. Um, if you're a regular civilian, don't have a CWP, it's 25. So if you uh, if you live in this area, you know that is a really good deal. Um, so thank you to them, and thank you to Carolina Sporting Arms for being able to get this to us. Um, so I don't think that's too bad. A week after it was officially released, we were able to get to our, get our hands on one, but I'm telling you, it took a ton of searching and trying to find somebody to send it to us, trying to find... Um, you know, people that, you know, they, they actually told me, hey, we're getting so many in. If you do this, put your deposit down, you will be one of the first ones to get them. So really appreciate that. Um, the gun overall, I'm just going to tell you my initial impressions. The gun feels, um, I'm not going to say like a full size gun, but it really feels like you have a lot of gun to hold on to. Um I don't really know what it is. It just it just feels like you have a lot to hold on to. There's some mi kind of mixed reports. I don't know. Um, I've heard that this is on a 42 frame. I've heard that it's on a 26 frame. Uh, it kind of seems, from reading the uh, um, specs on both, kind of like a mixture of, of the 26 and the 42. So um, the gun feels really, really, really nice in my hand. So I like that a lot. Um, let me show you a couple of guns here just to give you kind of a comparison. This is the LC9S Pro right here. Here's the Glock 43. Um, we will do that. And you can see the LC9S is actually a little bit shorter. Put them on their edge right there and then you can see turn that around that the LC9S is just a little bit taller trigger guard about the same um, almost the same dimensions in the two guns um, 
Let me bring in one more for you. MMP shield. Both, all these guns are safety checked, by the way. Um, let's butt those up. They look about the same length. The shield looks a little bit taller. Um, you have a little bit more of a bigger trigger guard there in the shield. We'll stand them up. And there they are side by side. So almost a uh, almost a mix between the shield and the LC9S Pro, or not really a mix, but a uh, right there in the middle, somewhere in between. So that's kind of where the where the 43 fits. Uh, let me show you the trigger. Um, you have a little bit of take up here, obviously. Here's your take up right there, and. Nice, nice click. If you care about the reset, it's right there. Um, the trigger doesn't feel. It's got some. It's got some weight to it. There's your reset. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but we'll have to shoot it and uh, put some rounds through it before we can really say anything um, about the trigger. Uh, the gun overall is pretty small for what it is. Um, it seems like a uh, like a nice mixture of weight and size. Uh, of course, you have your Gen 4 stippling on the grip and your oversized magazine release there. And then other than that, it is just a basic Glock. Take it down really quick. Don't want to bore you guys too much. Um, one thing I thought was interesting is this spring... <clears throat> It actually looks a little bit different. You have coils, spring up here, spring in here, and there's also a spring underneath this spring. So I'm really interested to see how this thing handles recoil. I can tell you right now, you know, a lot of these smaller guns, they feel kind of stiff. You know, I mean, they're smaller guns. That's kind of what you would expect. This gun does not feel stiff at all. It actually, uh, it actually feels pretty smooth. There's your barrel, <clears throat> and then everything else is pretty pretty standard. Um, the spring is really light, too. That's almost, I don't know if that's like a steel or, I guess it's steel. I know it's a polymer follower, but um, it almost looks like aluminum. It's, the, the spring is super light. <clears throat> um, slide's got some heft to it, so. Seems overall like a very, very nice balance. So I'm gonna go it. back to the 42 and just revert back to that a couple times, but um, cause that's a Glock that I have the most experience with. Um, but one thing I like that they did on the 43 um, is the slide serrations here seem to be a lot deeper cut in there. I don't know how well y'all can see that. They look kind of flat against the frame um, from that angle, but they feel a lot more, a lot deeper. Um, and it's a lot easier to get a, a handle on when you're charging the gun. The 42's serrations are, are almost barely there. Um, so I like that they made these a little bit deeper. They work. The 42 surprised me because it was such a <clears throat> easy shooting gun. And I know they're not target guns. But, you know, the fact that, you know, if you can shoot these guns well, you can almost shoot anything well, I feel. You know, these are a lot harder to shoot, these smaller guns. But... The 42, I just could not, even if within five yards, I couldn't consistently, you know, get a tight group with it. Um, I don't know what it was. It was so easy to shoot. Um, so I'm hoping, you know, with the 43, a little bit bigger gun. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll be able to do a little bit better with this one. Um, one thing, six rounds in the magazine. <clears throat> Uh, you can tell, I mean, it's not that much shorter than the LC9S or the uh, Shield. I feel like 6 plus 1 is kind of uh, subpar for the course. Um, the Shield, the LC9S, the XDS, I believe the CAR CW series, all those are 7 plus 1. Maybe even the uh, Keltec, I may be wrong on that, but most all those guns are 7 plus 1. Um, the Shield has an 8 plus um one with the extended mag so six plus one even with the extended base plate um a little bit subpar for the course i think 
Um, of course, they are polymer mags, and they have these steel inserts. Um, but, you know, 6 plus 1, it kind of is what it is. Uh, the gun overall has a really, really great feel. One thing I was, uh, I was talking to my buddy about earlier is the LC9S and the 43 are basically the same weight. But the 43, it feels like you have a lot more gun in your hand. It's weird. Almost the same dimensions, almost the same weight. You just feel like you have a lot more, even with the flush magazine. I don't know. I have no clue. I guess it's the way they proportion a the gun, but the 43 feels like you have a lot more gun in your hand with not really a lot much different on them whatsoever. So <clears throat> it's weird. Don't know. You might have to pick them up for yourself and, and just see. Um, I don't know. I, I Listen, I, I, we, I did nothing but search for the 43 once I heard it was announced. And I don't know how long it's going to be before these things are in stock, but I can tell you, man, it was, it was a struggle trying to find a 43, um, at least a pre-order and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, they did keep the beaver tail like they had on the 42 back here and you can just get so high up on the grip there. Um, of course, Glocks have, you know, really low bore access anyways, but you can really get your hand up high. So that's pretty nice. Um, I want to know what you guys think about it. Uh, I know when we did our initial Glock 43 announcement videos and all that kind of stuff, a lot of people said, you know, Glock's late to the game. They're not getting my money. Um, a lot of people said they would get them, but most people said they're just late. I want to know now what you guys think of it. Now that you guys have seen one, um, maybe even handled some um, in your in your local stores or whatever, I want to see how much the opinion is going to change because there's too many people that have already bought these. Um, there's too many people that are on back order lists and all kinds of stuff for them to not sell well. They're going to sell well. They're already selling well. So, you know, there's a lot of people out there buying them, but I don't. You know, after getting it, I think Glock did a really good job on this. It's funny because you hear Glock talk about, well, we finally, you know, we listened to our customers and all this kind of stuff. They heard you years ago. <laughs> they just, from a business standpoint, they released the 42 first because they knew if they released the 9mm first, the 380 wouldn't sell a lot. So, from their standpoint, I understand. If I owned Glock, I would have released the 42 first and then the, the 9mm. Wouldn't you? Um, so they heard you years ago. The Shield has been dominating the market for how long? Um, so they heard you, but, you know, they made a business decision and it has worked for them. But I don't think Glock is late. I think they did a great job as, as far as right now. As far as this is initial impressions, guys. So everything is just a snapshot in time. Um, opinions change, and that's just the way it is. But it looks really nice. Um... It feels really good, but there's too many people looking for concealed carry guns. There's too many people getting their permits every single day. Um, I don't think they're late to the market. Um, maybe fashionably late a little bit, but I, I really don't think they're late at all, to be honest with you. Um, there's just too many people looking for these kinds of guns. So I want to know what you guys think about the 43. There's a couple videos out there. Um, people shooting it and and all this kind of stuff and uh, within the next couple of days we should be taking this out to a range and doing a shooting review on it and I'm really looking forward to it if you guys want to see any kind of uh, um, comparison videos with the shield or the LC9S Pro let me know uh, just drop me a comment and I would be glad to do that um, but the gun overall is going is is hot right now it is very hot and um, I'm also going to leave on the screen um, the difference between this the 42 and the 26 as far as the specs I heard a lot of mixed reports about this was on a 42 frame and then it was on a 26 frame from what it looks like to me it looks like a mixture of both um, and actually the 42 and the 26 are both shorter um, according to Glock's website than the 43 so it looks like a mixture of both guns but I thought that was pretty interesting so I'll put that somewhere in the video for you guys to look at 
Um, other than that, this is the 43. I hope for everybody, all the people that have been wanting this gun for so long, I hope it's everything you wanted. Because there's so many people that I've seen since my time in shooting. Where's the 40? Where's the single stack Glock? And here it is. I hope it's everything that you guys wanted, especially because I know y'all been waiting a long time. But this thing is going to take a chunk out of the concealed carry market. And um, I wanted to say real quick, you know, I paid $4.99 for the gun. If I didn't have a YouTube channel, I would not have paid $4.99 for this. You know, I mean, it's a small gun. Um, the The market's going to even out here, you know, eventually. In a year, you can find these things for probably $400, bucks, 4 and a quarter. So I paid $4.99. It was worth it for me to get it quickly um, to do a review so on So overall, it. first impressions of the 43. Um, I really love how it feels. I, I love the balance of what, what Glock did with the pistol. It, it really, really feels like a solid gun in your hand. Um, the magazines are really springy. They just pop right out at you. See how quick those things just, just fly out. I love that. And there's enough space back here. Um, I know in some guns that we've had in the past, uh, your the bottom of your hand can actually catch on these mags and cause them not to want to come out but there's enough space back here on the back to where I don't see that being an issue even with the extended even with the extended mag they just pop right out uh, one thing I thought was interesting and maybe some of you Glock guys can tell me I thought the production for Glock guns now was moved to the the Georgia plant here in the US um, but this gun and the pictures before all showed Austria so I thought that was interesting. Nothing really big. I just would like to know, you know, what happened to the USA on the side of the gun. I don't know um, if they moved production over there for just this one or, you know, whatever the case is. But Glock 43 looks really solid. Um, it's, you know, they did a great job on it, it looks like. So we'll have to shoot it. I really want to run some hollow points through the gun. See how it functions. You know, the 42 had a little bit of quirks, which they worked out, it seems. Um, but we really want to run some hollow points through it, uh, run some full metal jacket, and just see how the gun performs. Uh, it looks like your standard Glock, except it's a 9mm. So we are very excited to uh, do this review. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, if you guys want to see any kind of comparison with the guns that we have or, you know, any comparison between this and something else just let us know in the comments below we really appreciate you guys watching and um, hopefully you guys will subscribe and give us a thumbs up we appreciate it and we will see you guys next time and as always hold them down